In this video, we're going to be talking about a new study that looks into time-restricted feeding and all the results. It's a brand new study, just came out a couple of years ago. Hey everybody, my name is Mike Cola, and I've been a fitness trainer and gym owner for over 25 years. And if this is your first time here, and you really want to improve your fitness, health, and nutrition along with me, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I put out videos like this every single week. I wouldn't want anyone to miss one of the videos. Okay, let's get right to it. Let's talk about time-restricted eating results. Actually, a brand new study just came out on intermittent fasting. And now let's analyze the study. Let's talk about the protocols, how they set the study up, and then we'll talk about all the results that were determined from this study. Okay, first of all, they took 34 men who have been resistance training, like lifting weights for over five years. So they, they were actually experienced weightlifters and they split them up into two groups, okay? One group followed, followed this time-restricted eating protocol, 16-8, meaning that they took in all their calories in an eight-hour eating window, and then they fasted for actually 16 hours. So they had their first meal at one in the afternoon, they skipped breakfast, had their first meal one in the afternoon, second meal four in the afternoon, and their final meal at 8 p.m. at night. And then they took a second group and had them eat more of a traditional type diet where they had their breakfast at eight in the morning, they had their lunch at one in the afternoon, and they had their dinner at 8 p.m. Now they, they controlled this study pretty well. They had, the, they had both groups eating the same amount of calories and they had their macros pretty much the same. For example, both groups ate, both groups ate about 50, 55, 5% carbs, you know, 20, 25% protein, 20, 25% fat. So the macros were the same, the food were pretty much the same, and the amount of calories were the same in both groups. And both groups actually lifted weights three times a week, traditional type compound movements like bench pressing, things like that, in the six to eight rep range, okay? Now let's talk about the result. Okay, number one, the actually body, the body fat from the time-restricted feeding group actually was reduced by over 16% compared to only 2.8% from the group that wasn't fasting. So that's a tremendous takeaway from this study already. The time-restricted feeding group dramatically reduced their body fat. Okay, number two, muscle mass was not reduced in either group. And actually, they even gained a little bit of muscle mass. Okay, so if you're concerned that time-restricted feeding or fasting or intermittent fasting is going to lead to a loss of muscle mass, this study says that's not true. I get asked that question all the time. I personally follow a time-restricted feeding protocol. I've been doing it for a really long time. I don't see any reduction in muscle mass, and I do see a reduction in my body fat. So I actually, one of the reasons why I love time-restricted feeding. Okay, and a third result from this is that insulin actually went down and blood glucose levels actually went down, which is another tremendous benefit of time-restricted feeding. It increases your insulin sensitivity. So the cells, the cells in your body res respond better to insulin. Okay. A fourth benefit was that actually um, inflammatory markers actually went down within the body, you know, which is really, you know, which is really great. Actually, but a fifth benefit was that triglycerides did go down in the time-restricted feeding group, but actually total cholesterol actually didn't change. So, so, you know, blood lipids didn't change too much, just triglycerides went down. Other studies have shown that time-restricted feeding does, does lower blood lipids, but this study didn't. Hey, every study is a little bit different, okay? Now, there was something that was somewhat counterintuitive in this study, at least to me, and even the authors talked about it too in the study. Now, the time-restricted feeding group actually had a reduction in IGF-1, insulin growth factor 1, you know, the growth factor, and actually testosterone. Both of those, those things did go down in the time-restricted feeding protocol, time-restricted feeding group, but at the same time, they didn't lose any muscle mass. So it almost didn't make sense. You would think that if IGF-1 goes down and testosterone down, you would lose muscle mass. But actually, this was an eight-week long, long study. Who knows if you did it for, for a longer period of time, what this study would have shown. But then the authors talked about, hey, that may not be a bad thing. I mean, some people may want to reduce their IGF-1 or reduce their testosterone. For example, if, if, you're, if you're getting older and you're concerned, you read some of the studies that are showing that high levels of IGF-1 is correlated to maybe your increased risk of cancer, maybe following a time-restricted eating protocol is a great way 
to keep IGF lower, to keep testosterone a little bit lower, while at the same time be able to maintain and even put on muscle mass. But it's hard to say, hey, once again, this is only one study and there need to be more studies done. I mean, other studies have shown in the past that restricting calories for extended periods of time does lead to a reduction in testosterone. Okay, so hey, you know, all studies are showing different things. We all have to learn a lot more. Okay, well, let, let's just recoup now and I'll recap a lot of the benefits that this study has shown if you're interested in trying intermittent fasting or time restricted feeding. Okay, number one, it's gonna reduce your body fat, right? Number two, you're not gonna lose any muscle mass. You can even gain muscle while following a time restricted eating protocol. Number three, you're gonna reduce the inflammatory markers in your body. Number four, you can reduce your, your blood glucose and you can reduce insulin levels. And number five, you can reduce your triglycerides, okay? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And remember, if you really wanna improve your fitness, health, and nutrition along with me, hit that subscribe button. I put out videos like this every single week. You can also leave a comment if you are like a bodybuilder, if you're resistance, you know, if you've been resistance training, if you're an athlete and you try time restricted feeding. I'm curious to know, do you think, did you lose any muscle mass? How do you feel on it? How to lower your body fat? I'm curious to know what your experiences have been following time restricted feeding. Take care, everyone, and have a wonderful day.